shooting! My luck to go out like this. Decrypt and re encode thousands of credits in seconds, but something as simple as this, I didn't see it coming. Not in the slightest. And now, because of you, my bomb's been activated. Which means I'm as good as dead. Forgive me if I don't take you at your word, since you've been lying to me from the very beginning. 
I've paid you well, treated you with respect, and kept trouble off your back more than a few times. Look me in the eye and tell me why you've allowed this to happen to me. You owe me that much. At this point, I can't blame Delgado for activating the bomb. If I was in his place, I'd do the same thing, without hesitation. Well, now that you're here, I don't expect that you'll stay and watch my rather spectacular ending. So why don't you just get out of my sight and let me die in peace? After everything I just said, you'd still be willing to help me. I must be a complete fool. Because even though it makes no sense, I believe you. The only way to deactivate the bomb is through Delgado's computer and operations. You'll probably need his ID to get in. I don't know why you're helping me, but I sincerely hope this isn't another one of your tricks.
take what we can. the job personally. Talk sense into me? You're the one who's lost their mind. What the hell happened to you? You had Krix's legacy in your hands, and you gave it away. For what? For honor? Justice? Yeah? And why the hell does Sistef get to determine what is right and what is wrong? You know, when we were on Suvorov, I saw the potential for you to become a badass pirate. One of the best. And now you suddenly expect me to believe I have been fooled the entire time? That this was some kind of elaborate game you have been playing? No. No way. For once in your life, be honest with me. Admit that you were tempted.
You don't even have the nerve to admit it. Unbelievable. It is obvious that no matter what I say, you have no intention of honoring our pact. You clearly never did. I have already locked down the key and set its reactors to overload. Soon, you, me, and everyone near this station are going to be vaporized. Let's see how far that loyalty to Sistef takes you now. And spend the rest of my life in the brig without a credit to my name? Why would I do that? They might. And if they do, I would just be tying up their loose ends, including you. If so, letting you live might afford me some small victory. Fine. You win. Standing down the reactors. With the legacy gone, we're dead in the water anyway. But before you have Ikan to lock me up, I'm gonna leave you with some parting words. Whether you know it or not, you're damn good at being a pirate. It's in your blood. One of these days, that's all gonna hit you. And I'll be waiting for you in my cell to tell you I told you so. and carrying too much. done that before.
for the Crimson Fleet. <sighs> changes are coming, Gail. Huge changes. Crimson Fleet will soon be a much bigger player in this little game between the members of the settled systems. That's quite a bold statement. Would you care to elaborate? Well, let's just say that I'm on the brink of a score so large it makes everything else pale in comparison. Beyond that, the others have to wait and see. <laughs> if you aren't willing to discuss the details, why grant SSNN this interview? Simple. I refuse to allow the UC to spin or bury the story, making it sound like they're in complete control of the situation. I'm gonna tell you right now, they aren't. Why does the Crimson Fleet need to make this mysterious move that you're being so evasive about? <laughs> hey. Oh, excuse me. I know Sistef instructed you See to draw this meeting out as long out. as possible. So let me sum this up. I intend to make sure that the Crimson Fleet becomes the United Colony's worst nightmare. And nothing. I mean... Nothing in this universe will stop Hello. me from achieving Pardon. that goal. <clears throat> there are those that would disagree with you. Okay. They claim this interview Hello. is grandstanding, or worse, a recruitment tool. After all, SSNN reaches every corner of the settled systems, and your aspirations could inspire the directionalist to turn to the fleet. You and the sheep that listen to your garbage can believe whatever the hell you want. You were so worried about what I had to say wouldn't have allowed yourself to be brought here. mining on the schedule today?
Should I warm up the engines? That was real impressive flying, kid. You earned your wings today. Thank you, sir. I was just trying to do my part. A lot of heroes. Could you go slower now? Good work taking out those pirates, Renegade. I believe congratulations are in order. With this decisive blow, the end of the Crimson Fleet is all but assured. But as much as I'd like to begin this celebration, technically we're still in the process of wrapping up the operation. On that note, Lieutenant, what do you have for me? Reports are coming in right now, Commander. Delgado and Shinya Voss have been taken into custody. Also, we've transferred personnel to the Key to secure the location until the United Colonies decides what they want to do with the station. And what about Neva Mora? According to our reports, Neva led the strike force that attacked the Vigilance. Unfortunately, that was the last we saw of her. It looks like she managed to escape. We don't know her current whereabouts, but I have our operations team looking into it. That's fine. Overall, excellent news, Lieutenant. I have to admit, for the first time in seven years, I don't know what to say. About you, I know that was difficult. You hanging in there? I certainly would have preferred to have reached a resolution regarding her whereabouts. After all, she was the fleet's second in command. Just watch your back. I'm fairly certain she's not going to simply forget what you've done to the Crimson Fleet. Let's not ruin the moment, Gideon. I'm sure our friend here is feeling quite pleased. Am I correct? You have no reason to feel guilty about anything. No matter how close you were to the fleet, you have to remember that they're terrible people that did terrible things and don't deserve your guilt. I've twisted arms and cashed in some favors at mast. I wanted to make sure you got a share of the money you recovered from the legacy. Call it a reward, a token of appreciation, whatever the hell you want. But you've absolutely earned every credit. While it was satisfying enough to watch the Crimson Fleet meet its end, having an account brimming with credits is a pleasant bonus. Don't thank me yet. If it had been completely up to me, you'd get a lot more than they're giving you. Now that you're rich and famous, maybe you'll still remember us little people, huh? Decorum, Lieutenant? Damn, I'm going to be really sorry to see you go. You've really become an important part of our team. It won't be the same around here without you. Although, if you feel like staying aboard, I'm sure I could give you access to the SysDef mission board. That is, if... You can stand spending another minute with us on Vigilance. Excellent. I'm happy we haven't somehow frightened you away. Anyway, enough talk. You've earned a break, and I'm sure you wish to celebrate. Here's your promised reward. And wherever you might find yourself, my best wishes travel with you. Really took it to those pirates. Well done. Let's see. Benjamin Bayou, pride of the Free Star Collective. The authorities there have been trying to nail him for a long time, bringing us proof that he's been manipulating Jennerdine from the shadows.